Hey Kingsman, welcome back. Today we have a ACW hardcore battle for you. It's a historical battle, the Battle of Shiloh. And uh, I have it paused um, because it immediately starts. It was a uh, Battle of Shiloh, for those who do not know, uh, also known as the, the uh, Battle of Pittsburgh Landing. Um, it was basically Union troops trying to uh, get their way into the Confederate interior. Um, probably one of the highest casualty, one of the highest casualty battles um, that took place in the American Civil War. Um, I believe it was fought in like April 6th, I think this is day one, so April 6th, uh, 1862, and it ended up being a, historically, a Union victory. Uh, South, the South, or Confederates, um, kind of got shut down, <clears throat> kind of shattered their hopes of blocking any advance into Mississippi. And uh, the Confederates lost any initiative in the West after this battle. Uh, also, they did lose Johnson. General Albert Sidney Johnson died in the fight, so maybe he'll die in this fight today. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. So it is going to be me and uh, Matt Bob. Matt Bob is playing U Ulysses S. Grant, and I am playing, uh, if I can find him, McLarenad. Um, but yeah, kind of, I'll, I'll maybe give a little history as we go along here, but uh, I'm holding the right flank and uh, Matt Bob is on the left. And as you can see, it's kind of like the premise of a kind of uh, ambush of sorts. <clears throat> Man, I don't know why I am, uh, <laughs> why am my throat is just, it's allergies, guys. So yeah, the uh, Confederates actually stormed out of the woods and swept into the southernmost flank of the federal camps catching uh, Grant's men unprepared, so that's kind of what you'll see simulating here. You can see there's one unit here, the uh, 53rd Ohio. The rest of the units are kind of here, and then a lot of units back here. And guys, the scale of these battles is massive. Uh, the units on the battlefield are massive. You'll see how many units are actually on them. Um, Confederates did eventually uh, counterattack. They were losing ground, but uh, yeah. Ah, I got myself some fresh coffee, and we will get this battle started. Like I said, it starts immediately. You'll see my men just st open up fire instantly. Don't make me look bad, come on, guys. And, uh, yeah, the Confederates right here, I do believe, we paused, which it records that. Awkward. Well, maybe I should uh, fast forward maybe a little bit. And I'll talk to you more about the battle. <laughs> um, so basically in this battle... Oh no, okay, we're back. So yeah. Um, what I did immediately, because I'm obviously engaged, as well as Matt Bob on this side, uh, as units are engaged, he's leaving them in the fight. Um, and this was the first of our... Uh, of, for not for Matt Bob, for me and uh, the two competitor players, it was our first big battle we'd ever played with ACW. So we were pretty terrible. Um, I think we forgot some units in the back, so just disclaimer, if you're an ACW player, it's going to be awful for some of us. Um, you can see Matt Bob already running his artillery back here. Yes, sir. I set up my artillery immediately in the front, probably was a dumb idea. I uh, will see if it pays off, but immediately we did. We had a rule, no special shot, because special shot is broken. Um, already starting to blast away at some of these uh, confederates that are just rushing towards me here. Oh, I love the artillery in this. I have a line, though. You can see I have a line that spans down this hill. Um, my other artillery, I think, was in position. Yeah, I have uh, some more artillery in the position. I am spanning all the way to the, basically the side of the map. I mean, imagine being in this forest. And uh, you're like, wait, we're being attacked? And your artillery starting to whistle yes, overhead. Now, I did try to get in these 50, the 3rd Brigade, oh, 53 Ohio, out of there because I didn't want to get outflanked, but the Confederates are going to put a ton of pressure. Their artillery also moving up as well as more infantry. So the Rebels are getting very aggressive here. Ooh, look at that. So beautiful. I love this game so much. Now over here, uh, Matt Bob is going to be holding. Um, also pushing up a lot of reinforcements. He does have some units over here. I know there's Confederates over here, um, but he just kind of was like, eh, I'm not going to hold this down as much. Sitting back in the trees is a good thing. Um, getting all his artillery um, to start firing as soon as possible. 
and I do have some artillery right here that I moved over. My line kind of spans this side, and you can see already starting to put some real hurt on the 21st Alabama as they are going to start falling back. And, and I do love this mod, and one of the reasons is because it is something that happened very close to personally. Um, it happened basically in my country, and most of the battles that we play are in Europe or, you know, elsewhere. Um, thankfully, we didn't... Oh, artillery is focusing down our guns and uh, breaking them immediately. That's one thing. Even though it's a hardcore mode, hardcore mod, artillery does get shot by other artillery very easily. Now, you can see I have some reinforcements here. Very crucial. More reinforcements coming up here. They can hear the artillery and the rifles firing, and they're like, oh, shoot, we should get up here. It also, uh, Map Bob is bringing, has a ton of reserves here, as you can see, so that's going to be super crucial, as well as a ton of artillery. Um, going to be a huge role to play in this battle, to be sure. Artillery is very king in this battle. Um, so I am moving up McLaren-Ed. Uh, you see the Confederates, though, are starting to fall back in some regular volleys, the Union... My Union boys from the Ohio are repulsing them. And I do believe my artillery did come back. The uh, Illinois battery. Illinois, my apologies. Um, the Confederates are advancing over here now. So far, I wasn't too concerned. I mean, it's very small units. I think I can, uh, you know, definitely defeat these guys. But they're gonna start assaulting my position. American flag waving proudly waving uh, we do have artillery firing I'm trying to put pressure right now I was trying to take out their artillery battery and uh, I'm starting to get some kills taking out one gun already they are still massing up in the center here and they're starting to push up on this flank over here they've kind of <clears throat> still just having a uh, line battle here you can see the dead artillery is going for the rebel artillery we're trying to assert artillery dominance here look at the range of these units these guys are firing like way over there i mean granted you could see you know the union way over there by the flag and the smoke but um <clears throat> also holding this flank it looks like we do have some artillery here we have to deal with that but yeah i'm getting hit pretty hard and i had half of what the confederates like the confederates had way more troops assaulting me than I had to defend. Like, and that was a concern. As you can see, they're sort of really a massive on this, on this uh, flank, and that is how you win battles. You have to go for the flanks. The flank is how you go going head first in, trying to do a spear point drive. Not going to work. Not going to work very well here. Uh, he is massing some infantry up here. Now, I do have my artillery back. I don't think he noticed. And uh, I'm going to get them doing some great canister... You see, though, my lines are getting pretty strung out and pretty thin here. I was getting kind of concerned. I am holding terribly. And you can see my men are starting to waver. Actually, I'm not holding terribly yet, but he is getting very close. Every shot's going to start telling at this distance. And, uh, yeah, the flank, he, I'm starting to break some of his troops, but just more keep pushing up. And that is why I began to, uh, once my reinforcements got up here, I began to seal them. Up now, I do believe I lost my general. Yeah, McLaren did run. Now he, I think he does come back. Um, that's one thing about this mod. The morale is just so finicky. Um, artillery it looks like they're wavering here. On uh, my artillery, the oh, the Betty, <laughs> trying to put some pressure on the center. Like I said, the Confederates. You can see the blue, uh, really pushing up close. My artillery, I do believe, is yeah, they're firing. And uh, they are they are putting some hurt down as the Confederate mass. Look at how many Confederates are pushing up here. And they are starting to push around the flank. I'm going to have to start shifting the flank. I have a lot of men in this unit, but, you know, I don't want to lose this unit. Uh, unfortunately, I did accidentally fire my artillery into my men trying to hit them. So I'm just going to say it outright if I made a new mistake. We do have a General Hardy sitting right up and close. Man, this guy's going to die. He's getting too close. Maybe trying to rally his men. Now the Confederates are going to fall back and probably renew their assault once they've reformed. This attack on my side was not going well. Now he did, you can see, really put some damage on these Union regiments of Illinois. But uh, did not break me. Now over here, uh, Mavov is still holding very strong. Um, he has some units way on the left flank. 
Let's see. Does he have artillery? Yeah, he has artillery set setting up in this open field. And uh, has a lot of units marching down. He's probably going to be, honestly, putting some units. Ah, yeah, my artillery. No, his artillery came back. But he's going to be moving units over to support my side because I uh, keep losing units. The artillery is just so strong. I have one gun left. I didn't even realize that. I thought I had at least two. But I have all my artillery set up, guys. I have it all set up here. Um, you can see it's starting to, yeah, it's starting to put up some hot fire. My flank in my artillery battery, I'm concerned about it. And now, Miramat Bob was telling me that he was going to send some troops over because it looked like they were pushing mightily for the flank here. And uh, that was a concern. So you can see, thankfully, I had some units who were very close. And uh, those units are going to hopefully be able to reinforce my right flank and I can hold. My center is getting a little weak. And uh, the Confederates are coming again. Just so many of them. I think he, he may be shooting in the back. No, he's not. But uh, yeah, they were really pushing for me because uh, my ally has a lot of troops. Um... Yeah, I do believe now with uh, him reinforcing me, I do pull my units closer to this side because my units are kind of getting really shot to pieces. Uh, but the artillery, guys, look at all this artillery. And the artillery actually can get some deadly kills here. I don't know who I'm firing for. But artillery gets some terrible kills when uh, they really need to. Now... This flank, guys, is the problem. You can see they are just pushing up here. I limbered up my artillery, and I'm going to run them. I do have some more units. Yeah, my center is still breaking here. Um, they're con concentrating on the area and actually doing a really good job of it with the artillery as well. Over here, they're just holding. I don't think this honestly ever was a break um, for uh, Grant. Grant was able to hold the entire time. But he was going to move some, some really large units of Confederate units, but... Uh, did a really good job holding for sure. I was very glad to have that flake holding. Um, me, not so much. <laughs> um, things began to get really nasty. I should have pulled back to here, to be honest, but I wanted to hold the hill. I really wanted to hold this hill, but now he's got an angle on me. And he's firing, and I have a gap in the lines. But you can see, I'm actually managing to hold here. Um, got my units up. They are going to uh, be able to pour in some... Uh, volleys on the confederates who are now realizing they are getting outflanked maybe but you see yeah i'm starting to fall back come on you guys please tell me you're firing <laughs> uh yeah my artillery is setting up and we're gonna start putting down the pressure on them as they have pushed in the line a little bit here oh they, we did kill a general. I was even gunning for him. I was going for the artillery, but he just swept to get in the way. And guess who it was? Johnson. So historically accurate, he dies just like he did in the battle. Um, it's kind of funny. But yeah, we're getting some fire on them. They are going to start breaking here. And uh, we should be doing a lot better. Now, my guns here totally fired at the back of this 13th unit. I felt awful. They didn't do anything but hold the line, and I killed them. Um, the center still looking so sketchy. They just really did a good job of focusing down their artillery here. Now, this artillery for me was... I don't think they even knew it was there, but I was just focusing them down. I mean, look at all the units killed by artillery in the back lines. And I'm saying this side, guys, because it was the most intense. This side was just a shootout the whole time, and I'm going to keep um, checking on it just because, you know. But look at these units. They're going to flank... They could just sneak up here and flank because this battle... Ooh, we got artillery trying to soften this area up. I'm losing even more men again on this side. Uh, you see... Yeah, my center is kind of caving. Um, my flank, honestly, is probably going to start caving. Mainly just because I fire artillery. I mean, I'm right by the map, so they're just going to run out. It was very sad. Very sad. Now, here is, um, yeah, Matt Bob has some units to thankfully back up <laughs> my units that will, that, uh, are getting a little weak just in case I start breaking in the center here. 
I saw more Confederate artillery warming up, and that's the last thing I need, so I start focusing all my artillery, you can see, on it. Trying to break them, not let them pour in hot fire. I'm starting to have some breaking in the center here. They're wavering, and uh, not a thing you want to see. And I'm actually going to get more aggressive here, but you can see... I start shooting my guys in the back, like the total pro, you know. I'm not, there's close my breaking. Um, start putting in some more units that are really weak, but I gotta plug in the gaps. I, like, I'm like, I gotta hold. That flank is really starting to push, really starting to hurt. I am starting to focus my artillery, helping out Matt Bob is having uh, some uh, some massing on his flank. So we're gonna start doing what we can to uh, break, chip away at the uh, flank make those guys run away um and you can see actually he did a counter bayonet charge gonna break the confederates who are very uh tired winded and uh that kind of helps give me a chance to reform my units you see my artillery is trying to fire at the uh his artillery but over here you can see the artillery is taking its toll on my men here and they're gonna run as the artillery Friendly artillery fire, guys. Just broke them. And there's so there's 229 men left, but they're going to run out of the map. And at that point, I was like, uh-oh. Because look at this. Look. You have three stacks of infantry here. You have so much infantry just advancing on this area. And Shiloh was a heavily wooded map. But now my artillery is kind of like, well, I was like, well, I might as well, you know, try to have him hold the center. If anything, I can force him to uh, attack my artillery. That's exactly what he started doing. Now I'm having more breaking in the center, but so is he, thankfully. Artillery fire coming down. I think I've almost broken his artillery. Um, he is starting to get weak in the center. I think he maybe pushed a little too much. But his artillery is still really hurting me. Um... Over here, Mapbob is really starting to have some problems, which is why uh, I'm trying to help out with the artillery, because that flank, guys, this is what you have to do, a flank. Now, he is going to be pushing in the center, too, but I think Mapbob is going to be just fine in the center. He's holding it beautifully along this tree line with the, of course, artillery sitting way back here. I can't even see it with his own uh, guns, but yeah, we're just going to start... Focusing down now over here. He started going for my guns. You can see running Thankfully I uh, Had already limbered up so my guns are gonna start, you know trying to oh my gosh yes, sir. He's gonna go in though a bayonet charge here, and I'm gonna break a unit here now I do have all the artillery here, and I'm also gonna rush some troops up um, What I did though was I just ran him away so he pushed up and uh, maybe overextended himself a little bit here. And uh, I begin to reform alliances. He was starting to push around, try to form up by these uh, buildings. This flank is going disastrously. Thankfully, his men were winded, and I was able to hold them off. And now I'm going to form up and start firing on his units. But he's still breaking through here, guys. This is where I was like, oh, shoot. And Matt Bob started moving some troops up here. My Jen was kept dying or running away here. Uh, my flank, guys, is going terribly. Um, the Confederates are very close to turning this flank. Um, if it weren't for reinforcements coming up here, this would just be a total washout because, yeah. There's no way I can hold back this many units of Confederates. The center is still just kind of sitting here. Uh, trying to gnaw away at my troops now. They are definitely doing so. And I was definitely the one to uh, attack. I don't have a lot of troops. Over here, artillery is starting to get really close. Just trying to tear away at the uh, Mississippi boys. Trying to do our best here. As this is a flank that we need to put troops on. And my general did die. Artillery just was just got him. 
I don't think any of us were even really focusing on gens. It's just the artillery just chose it, you know. So the competitors are actually doing something I don't think I even realized they were doing it. They were sitting way back here. I think I can still fire back. But they were sitting back here and just pouring in some volleys at a distance. Um, just kind of keeping me busy while they push on this flank. And they started really breaking me here. Um, some confederates pushed way back here. But of course the Union uh, reserves are just going to stop them dead in their tracks. Which for us it makes it so hard to see what's going on. Um, but yeah, I'm starting to have to fall back. My men are starting to just break. One thing I'm not sure what I like about ACW Hardcore is that the men come back so much. So like a unit will break and they just, you know, they'll, they won't they will come back. Uh, we may have to make some rules like, you know, you have to wait until you have three units and they have to sit in the back for a while and then they can come back together, you know, as a reserve versus, you know, just throwing a unit back in immediately. But you can see artillery really actually starting to really tell on this Confederate 9th Mississippi. Um, really starting to focus him down. I think his artillery was as well, as this is the flank that's really concerned. Over here, the Confederates are still pushing. And actually, um, they're in this orchard fighting a one unit of Union. Really actually starting to really uh, hurt them. But there's, there's tons of artillery, and there's still reserves back here. We had so many troops in reserve. Well, he had, my ally had a lot of troops in reserve. I had nothing in reserve. Uh, all my units at this point were on the front lines. And as you can see, I am still just breaking. Uh, this is this is my ally right here. This is not me, this is my ally uh, holding my right flank. I'm trying to get my men back in position and just help out, but uh, not going very well. Yeah, the Confederates are kind of trying to maybe rest up some of their men. They're going to get some of the artillery, which came back after I focused it, and they're trying to just shoot. Focus my center. I do believe, yeah, they're getting really close here. And I'm breaking again. So they were they were doing a good job. I'm starting to have a mass route, possibly. Yeah, look at that. Five units all at once just broke. My center just disappeared. And he's going to capitalize that and rush forward, thankfully, once again. My ally had some units to kind of reinforce this uh, center here. Because I broke in the center. Just huge route. These guys may come back. But the Confederates have finally broken through. I need to reform my lines. Um, my Also, my left flank had three units left. My artillery, thankfully, is still here. I have another unit of artillery that's going to come up here and start firing. And... Uh, yeah, we're, we're, we're starting to really break here. The Confederates are starting to just really punch through here. As my units are becoming non-existent. Um, thankfully, the reinforcements are here, and they are just going to punch in some solid volumes here. In fact, he may do a, a bayonet charge here. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, some counter charges with the bayonets. Give them the cold steel. A lot of my units did come back, and now they're in the back. But here come the reserves. It's so nice to see, like, some fresh units just pouring through here. Um, I did form up and let my ally kind of uh, do a lot more of the work at the moment because it was not going well for me. Um, over here, the Confederates are making a solid push here, and they're actually starting to win. They do have some units in the back lines as well. Um, what they really should be doing is trying to go through this orchard. Which actually they are doing. They have some units going down the road. Man, they're running basically. Oh my goodness, what an excellent volley. And there's going to be a bayonet charge. These guys are tired though. They are not going to work in melee. Yeah, and they're going to break. You don't do, you never should bayonet charge. Uh, when your men are tired, because you will lose every time. Um, but this part of the attack for the Confederates seems to be going better. Um, now with the reserves for the Union here, Grant putting up some reserves, we are starting to look a lot better here. We're actually taking back. I have artillery that's going to start really doing some damage. These guys did a lot of kills, and they're going to do even more, focusing down this right flank, our right flank. And uh, we're looking pretty good now. Um, the Confederates are starting to just run out of steam. That attack almost worked. 
looking to see where they really pushed us back from. But this hill was just too much for them to attack. Oh, they're having a seizure now. And, uh, yep. <clears throat> We're going to start holding, and we're starting to push them out of this right side of this road. Thankfully, I was able to reform up my units. I have artillery back. Them up, guys, artillery is so crucial, as you can see in this fight. Um, artillery, probably not going to get a ton of kills. You knock back a bunch of them, but you actually do kill a lot. Oh man, the artillery is really focusing down this area. Oh, they're focusing on this unit. Oh man, the artillery. Oh, do you see that kill? Do you see that? Look at all the death. Okay, well it's yeah, only a couple units, but still. The un the artillery is just king in this battle. Yeah, the Union are actually uh, starting to push us more reserves here. The artillery, though, is going to just... It's the equalizer in this battle. As these units are coming under so much artillery fire, I think they're going to drive them back. On this flank, we have definitely stabilized here. We are back. My generals are gone, so... You know, my morale is pretty terrible right at this point, but uh, we're back, and we're holding. And the Confederates seem to be now falling back. So we are definitely starting to win. It's just this flank now that is uh, needing to uh, hold. And with all the artillery, there is no doubt there's going to be able to hold. The Confederates are pushing up, though. They are finally shifting into a full geared attack. Good creep. Look at all of these guns. So many guns. It's like Gettysburg, if you've ever seen that movie. If you haven't, go watch it. Because look at all these guns. I mean, how many guns do we have here? How many war crimes are being committed by these guns? Uh, another friendly general has died. Now look at this here. Let's 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 get a volley off. I know I already did this, but let's get a volley off. Let's watch all these guys fire. Um, and there's a lot of time left on the clock, but you never have to go all the way to it. Come on, boys, fire! I know a bunch of them are gonna fire at once. This is what is going to equalize this battle because the artil amount of artillery that is hitting these guys is just almost unfair. <laughs> um, and now they're being attacked by the reserves uh, for the Union. They're going to start breaking here. We're trying to hold them in the center here and uh, doing a decent job of it. This right flank, unfortunately, the Confederates just ran out of men um, and their morale just isn't there now. I am also very badly bloodied. Like I said, I don't even ha half the tr troops here are not even mine. Um, but my artillery are doing what they can, trying to uh, break the enemy. And uh, yeah, we're definitely going to start pushing them back. Their artillery is getting fire focused on my artillery, and there it goes. The true equalizer of defeating artillery is other artillery. I don't know why it's going so like squarish. That's weird. Maybe I didn't do the settings correctly. 
Um, yeah, the carnage actually isn't too terrible, but it's pretty bad. Once you start getting up here, where the Union held, it starts getting pretty bad. Um, but yeah, the main fight is over here. I'm starting to try to focus down what's remaining of the Confederates in this uh, portion of the fight. Uh, the real fight is happening over here now. But like I said, I don't think we have to worry about it. We got artillery so close. Another general has died. These guys are just getting shot at close range. I would not even stand there, to be honest. If I was there, I would be there. <laughs> I would not be there. I'm not going to lie. Um, they're going to move with some of their artillery, but I think at this point we do have the artillery advantage. Now, the Union are breaking. Their morale is just not that good. Uh, they use mass over anything else, but they're pushing up through the orchard. Going to start uh, shooting away at this artillery piece and once the union yeah the union are gonna start breaking through here confederates cannot hold against this artillery barrage our artillery in the in the field here is gonna really start doing the and look at this they still have reserves we had so many i think they still had some reserves too to be honest but um look at that look at that all that artillery we have a lot of artillery here I um, mean, I think we're gonna, re the Confederates actually seem to be renewing the assault a little bit, maybe just skirmishing, trying to keep us busy. But at this point, yeah, it was, it was, uh, it was gonna be an obvious victory for us. Um, we just had the masses. Now they are gonna try to go for the guns here. That's why I'm gonna start focusing them down. You see they are actually, uh, yeah, we're going to start focusing them because they are going for our center, which reserves rushing out, but uh, starting to get a little concerned here. This this uh, open area is needing some reserves. So I got my artillery out of there, some Union begin rushing forward here to fill up that gap. Oh, you can hear the Rebel yell. Oh, he's gonna bay bayonet charge him. Just straight up just charge over and bayonet charge. These are fresh units, so they should definitely do that. We're gonna get a nice volley probably here. Let's see how many men drop. Ooh, beautiful. And then probably bayonet charge here. And they should be able to free up the center. And yeah, we have uh, worked at the center. This flank is in pieces because of the freaking 20 guns firing on them. So uh, now I think it's about the battle over. I think the uh, Confederates have a couple more units and then they just, everything kind of broke. We did have to pursue a lot of units down though. Um, okay, we have actually another fight. I kind of forgot about this one. Um, kind of forgot about the, uh, renewed assault by the Confederates. <laughs> well, we shouldn't have a problem. These guys have been able to rest up a little bit, reload their muskets, rearm. We're going to start putting in some volleys. Because now, yeah, the Union are going to keep pushing up here. My guns are back and firing once again. Ah, the Confederates actually did push up a lot here. Um, yeah, there's some Union back here. So... Basically, the reserves are what saved us. Um, and I feel like we had a lot more. I'm kind of curious how the numbers, number differences between the uh, faction. Ooh, the artillery is focused on some unions. So the Confederates are not out of this fight when it comes to artillery. Probably not 
gonna be able to do a ton. Um, but you can see we are at, starting to push back any Confederates that are trying to be in our way over here on this side. They're gonna renew. It's basically, I mean, it is it is what the uh, Civil War was. It was just a bunch of line fights and uh, willpower or uh, will. <laughs> you know, who can uh, win. Oh man, that's gonna, that's gonna break these guys. So many of them have dropped. Ooh, that was such a painful volley. And the Confederates seem to be actually renewing this attack on this hill. Maybe their units came back. And uh, yeah, they're, they're, I mean, it's not a bad place to attack. They've attacked once before. You can see I have a bunch of broken, wavering units in the back. So uh, if they have enough units, this may not be a bad idea for them. Over here, they are breaking. Come back and then breaking again. The artillery has done so much damage. It still is. I mean, it's breaking these units. Uh, this artillery is going to get focused down. They tried to do what they could. But the only real attack now that's being renewed is here where uh, finally we're breaking them. I do love the skins for these guys. Look at this. Looks very fine. Versus uh, the professional looking Union soldiers. Got a drummer, flag bearer, the, the uh, fifer, and of course all your units who are uh, gonna be pouring in some volleys here. Yes, sir. Flag bearer's like, guys, really? You're leaving me? <laughs> oh my goodness! All right, so yeah. <clears throat> artillery, just... Oh, no, infantry. So we have infantry way in the back. Trying to deal with the enemy artillery um, on this flank. And uh, at this point, I feel like... It should be over, right? There's like one pocket of Confederates. And then another pocket of Confederates over here, so... Uh, they're fighting a losing battle at this point. It's kind of a retreating battle. They're going to be falling back. Uh, my artillery is still trying to do what they can, but at this point, yeah, it's kind of over. <laughs> um, they were just fighting for the fun of it at this point. Um, artillery is still going to be racking up those kills. The Texas boys. These guys have some pretty good accuracy. Reloading skill. Got some Tennessee. And then, uh, Kentucky. The effects of the shooting are also pretty awesome. And at this point, we're just going to focus them down. I think over on this side, they are gone. Yep. So uh, once this side breaks, I'll just fast forward to the end so you guys can see the results. Because like I said, they're, they're fighting a retreating battle at this point. Um, which is pretty realistic, actually. Um, <clears throat> they uh, are just going to basically just try to keep us engaged long enough to be able to uh, fall back. So I'm just gonna keep showing off the uh, the mod, I guess. Just you know, show off the sound effects, the skins, all that. Look at this officer here, or the uh, Alabama. Fancy looking guy, sir. A three stars on his Jack Emerson, and that means he's a uh, I don't know if the ranks actually mean during this time period. Yeah, look at look at the hill that they had a fight up. 
They had to fight up this whole hill. Yeah, and the Confederates and the Union just sit at the top. It's kinda hard to see what's going on with all the trees, to be honest. It can be really hard to see what's going on. Alright, I think that's about it. I think that the uh, battle is mostly over here. What, what we do is we just swing on the flank, we kill him, and then uh, that's it. Although, yeah, they have some... They, they men just keep coming back, which is why the battle takes so long. That's the only downside to this mod. Um, but they just break pretty fast because they're already routing as it is. So uh, I will just skip to the end, guys, and uh, go over the stats. So uh, be back in a second. Alright guys, so that was the Battle of Shiloh. As you can see, uh, I had about 43, Matt Bob had 81, and I was going up against, uh, I can't remember which one it was. I know it was Johnston, so 61,000 men, which is why I did awful, and also I'm just not good at the game. Um, but yeah, that was about the battle. Look at some of the kills we got here. So this was day one. There was another day two, which actually, after Johnston died, um... Beauregard, or Beauregard, whatever his name was, took over control of the uh, battle uh, and ordered a counterattack the next morning, although uh, they didn't know that the Union had been reinforced. Um, <laughs> Buell arrived with reinforcements for Grant, and uh, basically the Union had 54,000 men and uh, they outnumbered the Confederates by like 30,000 men. So in the morning when uh, Beauregard attacked, uh, Grant has ordered a counterattack and totally squashed the Confederates on day two. Still a very, very uh, costly battle. Um, uh, it was like Union had lost like 13,000 men, the Confederates lost about 10,000 men. So uh, it was pretty bad. And they lost a, an amazing general, General Johnston, which they did lose in this battle too. So, um, that's about it, guys, for me today. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed more uh, ACW battles to come. So uh, stay posted. Also, NTW3. And uh, if you have any replays of those, as well as 12 to AD, don't be afraid to send them to my email or post them on my Discord. And uh, I will share them with the YouTube community. So, yes, yeah, stay safe. Have a great rest of your day. And I will catch you all in another video.